Cut the bullshit, Mr. Taylor. You got a tip from this woman. She's a senator's wife on the Intel Committee. They knew this was gonna happen. Now, do you want to tell me the truth or do I open that door for the FBI? All right, the team of fans. Now the question is, and this is one of the reasons why I'm glad the show wasn't released 10 episodes at once because I'm actually free to do speculation videos as opposed to, wow, episode three is literally right here. Let me click on it and I'll find out the answer. But how in, how in the world did Gretchen know about Tony, the senator's wife, AKA someone who would have intel about the stock when and that's how Zach won his stock. There are probably three different ways Gretchen knew. And I'm just going to kind of quickly go over them because remember, we we just saw these episodes. Like there's literally nothing to kind of tip us off as to how she knew. But, you know, even Zach said in episode one when he was talking with, uh, I was about to say Jake, Bryce. Do you think, you know, old lady called the uh, SEC and, you know, dropped dime on me? Which doesn't make sense because she would be incriminating herself. So I doubt that. I think that when we saw Tony in the season four finale of Sisters, that was the last time we saw her outside of the photo that Gretchen had on her phone. The other obvious answer is Hayden is the one that did it. Because we know that Hayden called Tony, but like I said, when, you know, Tony told Zach, I, you know, this lawyer called and was asking a lot of questions and he seems to know you. What would be the point of the whole situation of Tony wanting to sleep with Zach to keep quiet about it? Because again, she would just be shooting herself in the, in the foot and Fatima broke it down. Fatima broke that shit down to her as to why you're not going to tell because you'd be screwing yourself over for trying to have my man screw you. And then on top of that, yeah, no, honestly, I feel like there's only two reasons. Some people are speculating that Jake slash Bryce dropped dime on, dime on Zach. I don't think that's the case. Not only that, um... The SEC. Yeah, that's honestly all I got. It was either Hayden or Tony that snitched, but I'm leaning more towards Hayden, which would piss a lot of people off because of the fact that they don't want Hayden or Karen anywhere near this spinoff, despite the fact Karen's been name dropped at least four times now. I think that it's one of those things where once we get to sister season five, maybe that would explain a few things. But the question is, it, it, I, don't, I think the bigger question is, how is Zach going to make it out of this one? I mean, yes, this is, it's an important question to figure out how Gretchen knew about Tony. Because, you know, <laughs> when Zach called Gretchen the first time, so uh, what's this call pertaining to? Uh, what do you want to meet for? Oh, I think you know what this is about. Um, no. Also, she was like, you answered the questions a little too well, like you rehearsed this. No offense, Gretchen, but hell, I mean, you're fine as hell, first of all, but don't we all rehearse like that? Like when we go to a job interview or, you know, if you're going to court for like a ticket or something like that or to testify, you want to make sure you got your facts straight. And I, I think Zach did a great job. <laughs> I mean, sure, you could say, you know what, for someone who doesn't have a background in stocks or anything and yada, 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 you answered these too well. But I mean, didn't he show you everything? I mean, if she didn't have that photo and information on the senator's wife, she might still be suspicious, but there wouldn't be anything she could do. So she would probably just walk away. But like I said in my episode review, it's just like, you know, they say a woman would will sit up there and let a man, you know, pretty much give himself more rope to hang himself with because she already knows the truth. She's going to ask you a question anyway 
to see if you're honest. And based on Zach's face at the end of the episode, he's like, oh, shit. So I really want to know how he's going to get out of this one. Now, will he get out of it? Obviously, there's as a team of season two, and I have no doubt that, you know, he's still going to have his house and everything based on the season one trailer. So, again, I don't know how he's going to get out of this. Maybe Bryce will magically pop up and save the day. I don't know. Maybe Fatima, well, actually, it doesn't make sense for Fatima to come back unless she, you know, came home for lunch or something. I, I don't know, but yeah, I think that Zach is pretty much on his own here, which to be completely honest, I would love to see him weasel his way out of this one because it's just one of those things where people praised episode two at the dinner scene because when he told off Belinda, rightfully so, it was a breath of fresh air because Zach wasn't making himself small in order to avoid confrontation. He pretty much was done with the disrespect. And in this situation, I would love to see how he's going to flip the script in order to get out of this mess because it really is going to be hard. I mean, yeah, you know about the senator's wife, but does she have the same video footage that Hayden does? Maybe he's going to explain, yeah, I helped her out. Because she uh, forgot her computer on um, the plane. So I, you know, pulled a lot of strings to get the plane to stop. I got the computer and she was appreciative. Now, again, the video footage is the main thing. Because in that, you know, footage, you see Tony handing him like, what was it? A business card or something. And that could possibly, you know, look incriminating. Not to mention if they really want to stretch it. How about video footage from the hotel, not of the hotel room, but Zach going up to the room, what, three times? You know, once after he got the stock intel and wanted to talk with her one-on-one -on -one in season three, right? And then twice in season four, you know, first when he went over there, found out she wanted sex, then he left and then he came back. So that could look really bad. But regardless I do think Zach is somehow going to make it out of this one. We don't know. I mean, according to Bryce, she's a total bitch. But given the track record of how these women interact with Zach, I'm, I would not be surprised if Gretchen pulled a Tony and was like, sleep with me and I'll make this go away. And I mean, if I were Zach, I'm just saying, Gretchen in that blue dress, I... Whew. Okay, respectful thirst, people. Respectful thirst. I just feel that Zach, he's going to have to be a bit careful. Because it's interesting, it, it seems he doesn't follow Jake's advice in season four of Sisters, which was to, look, man, you need to start putting money on some other stocks. And, you know, that way it'll kind of draw suspicion. I mean, just to kind of throw it out there, Gary doesn't even know how Zach got the stock. Hayden was requesting that Gary, you know, kind of press Zach for answers, but he never gave it to him. So maybe Gary did something. I don't know. But only time will tell. I think maybe in Sisters Season 5 we'll get some answers, but we'll just have to wait and see. How do you think Zach is going to get out of this Gretchen debacle? I mean, if I were in it, I probably wouldn't want to get out myself because... Okay, so like and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description and I'll catch you in the next one.